back like we never left bda and welcome back or welcome to the bda show <laughs> okay so one punch man all right it's amazing and this past episode episode 11 was unbelievable now saitama is still destroying the ship he's still going in on the ship and he runs into boros and boros looks like a boss all right that's what boros looks like but let's let's talk about before that we have the s class who was going in against uh melzegard i believe his name is and he is um that thing that had the multiple heads and was just um they couldn't beat him they couldn't beat him at first because they didn't know how to beat him we had bang um so silver fang going in there we had the guy with the baseball bat we had uh the guy with the sword um uh the pui pui prisoner they were all trying to go in on this guy but they couldn't figure it out eventually they did you know the whole marble thing but that that was a great scene um the funny parts with saitama on the ship is just hilarious like that face when he finally sees boros it just looks like <laughs> he looks stunned but then he looks like he doesn't care at all i thought that was classic i thought it was just amazing seeing that but the, the whole episode or the episode as a whole made you anticipate or you, you really can't wait for episode 12 okay because I expected for Saitama to go up against this guy because I, I, I kind of got hints or semi-spoiled about this guy beforehand. And he, he took a punch from Saitama. Everybody doesn't do that. He took a punch. He ate it. And then that scene when he, he kind of just burst off his, 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 his armor saying that was suppressing his strength that is crazy and we see the preview for next episode basically he's asking saitama what does it mean to be strong or to be the strongest but saitama doesn't care about that now back to those s-class heroes it took a lot of them to take this guy down but they're clearly levels above the other guys because they were putting in work bruh for sure now the thing is here with Storm because she came in and she basically said that she saved all of them and she kind of did. She, I mean, she kind of did, honestly. She saved all of them and it wasn't, I mean, with the, 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 the nukes that was coming down, she sent them back to the ship. But they're saying Saitama was already wrecking the ship. So um, the whole thing with Storm was interesting. I really like her. Um, she, she's a beast. Like, everything about her is great. I mean, she's annoying as hell, but she's an esper, which can send things back, and I thought that's really unique. I mean, even all the other S-Class were great, but I, I really like Storm. I don't know, out of all of them, the one that I enjoy the most is probably the guy with the bat, because he reminds me of, like, um, uh, Knuckle from Hunter Hunter. Like, he reminds me of Knuckle a lot, and I, I enjoy that for sure, but... This episode, man, just watching this episode and seeing how everything played out, Saitama on the ship, that blue octopus transforming, getting taken out by a pebble that Saitama threw, was amazing. One Punch Man has now um, become second in command in the anime community as far as um, talking topics, I believe. Talking topics and just interests and if you are going by YouTube standards, views and, and comments and likes, One Punch Man is right there behind One Piece. I would say for a brief moment there, it surpassed One Piece in that category. I, I expect next week, One Punch Man will reign supreme on YouTube. Because it's that interesting. Is that interesting and i've been hearing things floating around as far as season two was concerned and i haven't seen anything official about season two i've been seeing people put up videos about it but i haven't seen anything so i can't deny or confirm that but i haven't seen anything so 
one thing I can say for sure, they will find a way for one, uh, for season two uh, to come out. Okay. Um, they will find a way because it is too popular. It is way too popular for you not to bring out season two. I'm talking about next year. Season two has to drop. There's no way you can't drop season two. But I'm really looking forward to next episode. Saitama versus Boros incoming. That should be a great fight. He took a punch from Saitama. So this fight should not end in one punch. And maybe we can see Saitama at his full power, which we've never really seen before. Um, we got some speed of sound Sonic, which is always great. Mixture of Hakuba and Sasuke. <laughs> so we got speed of sound Sonic. And he's great as well. He's always interesting. So getting some speed of sound, getting all the S class, some Moon Man Rider. That's, that guy's a hero, bro. That guy's a hero. And I, I love Moon Man Rider. Because he's doing whatever it takes. And he's doing the little things that, you know, maybe the S class would want to do. But he's doing it, and that's what makes him a true hero. Honestly. But season two, can't wait. If it isn't coming, it definitely has to. But next episode, live reaction, definitely. No, the video will not be showing, but live reaction is incoming. All right. But now let's talk about Dragon Ball Super. I don't remember the episode number. But <sighs> Dragon Ball Super continues to, to to disappoint. Episode 23, by the way. Just remember, episode 23. Dragon Ball Super episode, episode 23. It continues to disappoint. And I mean, at this point, I'm just not that moved by it. Because it's... It's mediocre. What they're giving us is mediocre. Now we saw some Gohan stuff. And that face Gohan made after he managed to call Goku. Because at this point what they're saying is his body isn't strong enough to handle his power. So they're saying he's still very powerful. But his body cannot hold or contain his power. He's going to get ripped up to shreds. Which I guess makes sense because he hasn't been training. Now, what I say to that is, it's like he keeps losing people. Why wouldn't you train then? You know, like, why wouldn't you train? So hopefully, you know, this isn't the end of Gohan because that face he made at the end was just pathetic. Oh, God. People are making memes and gifs out of it. I think I saw one that said, um, when you caught your girlfriend cheating on you after you're bringing her her Christmas present. Saw that one. <laughs> So, you know, most of the episode is them calling um, Goku and Vegeta. We saw some of Jocko. Always love Jocko. Vegeta one, sh one shots Ginyu. Like, Ginyu comes back to get one shotted. Like, what was the point of bringing him back? That, that was just so pathetic. They bring Ginyu back, he gets one shot about Vegeta, which was epic. I enjoyed that for sure. But, come on, bro. He gets one shotted. Now, we see Frieza is really showing off his power he basically wipes out his own army to show off his power and goku is ready goku is ready for frieza the newly the new and improved frieza and <laughs> we've seen the movie so things shouldn't stray far from that you know i expect more of the same um i always enjoy hearing krillin's krillin's voice because we know who krillin's voice is right if you don't know it's monkey d luffy from one piece that's who Krillin's voice is. So I enjoy that. Um, uh, Wiss and... Wiss's... Wiss's? I suppose that's how you say it. Wiss's and Beerus's relationship is interesting. Because Beerus orders Wiss around. When Wiss... It has been hinted that Wiss is stronger than Beerus. Right? Because he trains Beerus. So... He has to be. And... The fact that Wiss is stronger than Beerus, it's like, who the hell is Wiss? Like, where did Wiss come from? Like, why is he training Beerus? It's all these questions about that. It's these questions about that. And I'm just, <clears throat> I just need to know more. But, you know, hopefully they get into that. 
because I think 100 episodes of Super are confirmed. So maybe to get into that, but hopefully we get out to get out of this, this these movie arcs as soon as possible because it's just black, B L E C H H H, <laughs> black. So, um, Dragon Ball Super next episode, um, Goku versus Freeze ain't coming. That should be okay, I guess. It can be better than the movie. There's no way it can be better than the movie, so. Honestly, I'm not expecting that much. Not expecting that much from um, Goku vs. Frieza. But um, no fairy tale chapter this week. I, won- I was wondering why not. I'm not sure why. But we didn't get any fairy tale chapter this week. I was expecting it um, this week, but we didn't get it. Um, we had a One Piece Party 003, which was interesting. Um, <laughs> if you want to, you can go check it out. One Piece Party um, 003 is basically the One Piece characters um, reenacting the legend of Momotaro. Okay, and it's, it's hilarious. I, I enjoyed just reading it. Just seeing the characters and different things they were doing. I definitely enjoyed that for sure. Um, I would say... If you just, you know, the One Piece nostalgia, if you need that, you can go back and read this. It was, it was, it was fun. It was fun because it went through Luffy meeting um, his, his friends again. And they're playing different characters and they're incorporating like admirals and things like that. It was really cool. I thought it was really cool. So you can go and check that out. But, um, great stuff this week, guys. You know what? There's one more thing I wanted to talk about. And I'm, I'm touching on this quickly. Um, because this, you know, normally I would say, you know, I said that I wanted it to go an hour. I'm not sure if it's going to go an hour. I'm not sure. Maybe half an hour to start out when I'm getting in depth as far as the reviews and things like that. But for right now, the, um, anime reviews and, um, what, what I'm saying, anime reviews. I'm talking about channels that review anime, and you know, primarily review anime. But you do different projects, and the question I'm asking is: Does is doing individual anime reviews does it contaminate your channel? Now, just think about that. Don't don't kill me here. Don't kill me here. I'm just asking, does it contaminate your channel? Now, if you're primarily anime reviews and that's what you do and that's what you mostly want to do, you're you're in love with that, that's what your passion is for, I get it. But if you're if you have a higher calling and you feel that, you know, anime reviews is you know just one part of it, having different anime reviews, because I can say this for certain, I do not put as much effort into every single anime review. Like every single one does not get the same effort. So what if someone that visits your channel, they run into, what if you, what if they run into the worst video on your channel? And then that's the stigma or that's the view they have of your channel and they never come back because of that review. I guess that's why they say to put everything, do your best on everything you do, but it's human nature, man doing the same thing over and over it just you know it's just blah especially when from week to week it's the same thing over and over and over but just something to think about i'd say something to think about for sure because it's tough it's tough but yeah let me know what you think about that do you think that's something that's that could affect your channel if that's not what you do primarily but yeah um uh, that's pretty much the end of this this first installment of the bda show um let me know what you thought about this new criteria and this not criteria this new formula that we're doing this, that we're doing this and so next show Wednesday, maybe myself, maybe myself and others. We'll see. We'll see. But, you know, like the video if you did. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. That would be great. And have a great day, people.